Hi everybody and welcome to another workout video. I'm Peter Carvalho and today we're going to show you three powerful, effective and a little bit unusual MMA ab exercises straight from the fighting training ground. As I'm not the biggest MMA fitness expert, I thought we should go to one of this country's top MMA coaches and ask him to show us three powerful MMA ab exercises that will get us ripped like a fighter. Let's look at the video. Right, next one again, zoning in on the stomach muscles. Mike will be lying down, grabbing hold of Nick's ankles or calves, raises the legs up. We start off with 20 repetitions, keep the feet together, throwing the legs down. As soon as the legs go down, you don't touch the mat, you keep them straight and you flick them straight back up again. Nick will throw, continue the throw, and Mike keeps working those stomach muscles with the breathing. Okay, like I say, 20 repetitions to start off with. Okay, very important for Nick here to throw those legs, okay? So you can add the resistance in on the stomach muscle workout here. Right. Then the next level that we do is throwing to different directions. So the first direction is straight forward. Then you've got two directions to the diagonals. One diagonal, opposite diagonal. Then you've got two more directions right next to you, 90 degrees. Okay, then Nick mi mixes it up, throwing any direction, okay? Important again, Mike needs to make sure his feet don't touch the ground, keep the legs straight and bring them straight back up to neck. Okay, working all angles of the stomach there. Keep going, 10 more seconds, work it. Good, and relax. Right, and that will definitely zone in on the side. Okay, the next one, okay, this is, uh, always make a joke about this one, I call it the rubbing ass exercise or the rubbing butt exercise. Okay, basically what you're gonna do is Mike lifts his legs up, okay, and they're holding, gripping hold of each other's hands underneath, and same on this side here. Okay, so you reach underneath and you grab your partner's hand or uh, forearm. Basically what you're gonna do is they're gonna lift their butts off the ground and replace to the other side. Okay, preferably not throwing the legs down on the ground, and if you can, to try and keep your legs pretty much not locked out straight, but slightly straight, okay? And exchange, other side, yeah, okay? So don't drop it on the ground and continue alternating from side to side. This exercise gets its name because uh, the more tired you get, more reps you do, the more you start rubbing on each other's backsides, okay? So the whole goal is not to rub backsides because that's when you know you're starting to get tired. 10 more reps, keep going, yeah. Very good exercise for the stomach. Good for core balance as well. Five, four, three, lift it up high. Okay, very important to lift that low back totally off the ground. And stop. Okay, good job. Right, so important is when you do this, keep lying down, is lift it up and change, but don't lift, don't lift your back, uh, low backs off the ground. Okay, it's very difficult to exchange the legs if you keep your low back on the ground. Then you're gonna get all tangled up, okay? So you have to actually lift right off the ground, lift right off the ground and swap. Lift right off the ground and swap. Okay, very cool exercise. Okay, next one, it's what we call the jumping guard stomach exercises. Important again that you work with a partner that you can trust. What Mike's gonna do is he's gonna walk towards Nick and jump right around the waist, holding on and jump. Nick must get a nice base. See how Mike is locking his ankles at the back? Okay, you can hold on to the neck in the initial stages. Nick will bend the knees to get a good base and wrap his arms around the back, low back. Mike will go backwards, touch the mat or the floor, and lift straight back up again. Okay, keep on going. In this exercise, both partners are getting a good workout. Nick is working on his base, and Mike is obviously getting a good stomach workout here. Okay, you do about 20, 30 repetitions, you change. Okay, you can also add a slight variation like we did with the previous ones. Every time Mike comes up, go down again. Every time he comes up, he reaches to the opposite shoulder. Reach and back down again. And alternating reach. Yeah, there we go. See how Nick has to work his base? Looks easy, but yeah, to hold somebody like this while they're moving, you need good core stability. Good, and relax. Good job. 